Hello guys, what's up? Rajat from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. This is Silhouette FX Rotoscoping Masterclasses. Let's get started. So guys, uh, we are in right now Silhouette FX and this is the newer version look. It's completely brand new and when you open Silhouette for the very first time, you can see exactly this screen. Now going forward, I just want to cover that in this series, I divided this in 10 episodes or 10 classes. So let me go through with all those classes that which you will be learning from this complete master classes and I will bet that after completing all these 10 classes, you will be learning the complete production level training. So please watch the all videos and share and subscribe to our channel VFX World. The very first class is based on which is this one basic UI interface and kickstart. The second one will be shape division and manual roto. Third one will be based on tracking. Fourth one completely dedicated to mocha tracking. Fifth one based on motion blur roto. Sixth one is like cloth rotos and all. And seventh is based on hair roto. Eight defocus roto. Ninth advanced rotoscoping techniques and 10th last but not the least stereo roto. So these are the 10 important classes I made for this master classes. I hope you will enjoy this master class completely. So let's start with some silhouette effect stuff and all. So this is the very first time when you open silhouette as I told before. So here you can see a lot of stuff here but first of all this is your welcome screen. This is a silhouette where you can find this new project open project and existing project. So if you click this existing project, these are the last three project which I have worked recently. So this is like SFX project converted and project. These are the last three classes and all. This is exit button. So if you click to new project, what you have to do and if you click to open project, you can exactly browse on your specific folder. You can import that SFX file here and make sure silhouette file will be safe on .sfx. Now you have to click on this new project where you can find this option which is called a naming. So name and the folder division. So these are the browsing folder where you have to exactly browse where you want to save your SilverFX file. And this is like the folder name which the SilverFX file will be created. So for here I'm just making it like to tutorial and then underscore and I'm just making it to class and then zero one. That's it. Now you have to browse my specific folder here. Okay, done. So I just put it my browsing folder here and after that you have to just simply press create project. Okay, so right now we are back into silhouette effects and when you open this, this will look like this where you can find the source panel, timeline, object, node and the trees panel and all. So here you can find this file edit session window action and help. So if you click this file option, you can find again the new project. The shortcut of this new project is control alt n. You can see here open project control o open backup save project save project as revert project. Please make sure before clicking this option, make sure your file will be saved. Okay, now this is a close project, recent projects, import, export. You can exactly export nuke shapes, silhouette effects shapes and import media files here. Now talking about the media file, silhouette effects can only import sequence based format like uh, PNG sequence, like EXR sequence and all. It can't import any MP4 file here. Now talking about the preferences here, you can find these many options here. So for the production purposes, what do we do? We just go to the viewer purpose and we just will change some alpha overlay color. So by default, it will become a red. So let it be like that. And you can find under this zooming filter, which is nearest by default, it will be linear. So make it nearest every time because you want to do each and every part in pixel by pixel. Then you can find this tracker panel, stereo panel, undo, user interface and many more things. But if you go to the shape panel, there you have to change few more settings here. But I'll come later in other classes, then you can exactly understand why I do all the stuffs and all. So just let it be like this. Now let me show you how you can import the footage for the very first time. Then you can exactly see the rest of the option will automatically popped up here. So now you can find the source window here. So if you really want to import, you can go to file, import and media or else you can click here double click so it will go to your browser so let's import my footage from here import and media and then just select this exr sequence so just select anyone from here and then just press open 
so you can find this is your footage which is coming up here so to make it in a viewer what you can do so just select this go to session and you can click this new session control n is a shortcut just click here you can find this option menu where you can find the name of your new session this is then the template and i'm talking about the template silhouette can do compositing stuffs roto paint this kind of thing so my this case is based on completely roto just select that template to roto workspace is normal like if you want to make it to default make it to default if you really want to be composite composite any other so i just change it to default and change the name to uh, same thing like class and then 0 1 and after that you can find the resolution of this plate here and guys the plate link is in description box below for the practice purposes you can go and check it out download and start doing practice now this is the frame duration this is 50 which is my exact frame duration range Pixel exit ratio is like 1, 24 FPS is frame normal frame per second and starting frame is my 1. Whatever the starting frame will be, there it will be showing up here. Like if your starting frame will be 1001, it will show here like 1001. Float by default 16, let it be. After that, just simply press OK. When you press OK, you can exactly see the footage will automatically come up here and few nodes will come up here as well. Now, talking about the nodes, Silhouette new version is completely based on node. The previous version was based on normal like layer based and all. So you can find this source panel here and you can find this new toolbar here. This is your node graph panels here. This is object list. This is some nodes and object presets and nodes and all. So let me go through with all the things in very bit because I'll describe each and every part later. So this is a node panel where you can find some different different stuffs nodes here. So this is a color based node, compositing, diffuse, filter, film lab and many more things. But for rotoscoping, we need only silhouette tab and from here we need only the roto tab here. So going through all this uh, tools here, I'll exactly describe each and every classes. So this is like normal like moving tool. This is like a reshaping tool. This is IK, FK. Yes, silhouette can do IK and FK. This is a B spline, Bezier, X spline and like normal things and all this is a normal square this is a circle this is a tracking methods and all i'll describe all the parts guys so relax keep watching vfx world and all the videos and subscribe and make sure comment about your feedback on this special master classes because these are a very long weighted tutorial okay so where you can find this new toolbar here this is a color space which is linear srgb this is a many kind of color space so by default it will be linear but for production we did some basic color difference like srgb or you can do a lot of other stuff like rec 709 and when you're working on production they have the specific linear color space and LUT also so I just make it to linear here and if you find any specific LUT from here you can exactly import it completely up to you now talking about the gain and gamma if we increase the gain you can see the footage is start gaining like this and if you increase the gamma it will become like this now this is a very small option here if you click it here it will automatically go default so if you go increase it and just click here it will go by default normal these are the normal toolbars again this will I'll describe later and this is like an output mode, this is a foreground mode, this is a color comp mode, this is a channel mode. These other things is really needed when you are doing rotoscopings and all. Here you can find this option, this is called like alpha which is invert because what you do in production when you start working on rotoscoping, we inverted our alpha. This is a motion blur option here, if you turn on the motion blur you can exactly see the motion blurs here. In this footage we don't have any motion blur specifically so we don't need to turn on here motion blur but if you really want you can exactly do it motion blur complete class will be coming also on these master classes again okay so talking about this three specific node this is your input this is a specific roto node and this is your output node where you can find these two green lines are here this is a foreground this is a background by default it will connect with foreground now if you rotoscope specific area if you want to add anything on background you can simply connect with this pipe here this will go to your background to detach this roto node with this just simply select and just remove it by clicking this so if you connect it just release it here it will automatically being connected and make it to connect on this foreground just simply like this second thing in output double click here it will go on this output panel now if you really want to see a specific node detail just click on this system icon here just click here it will completely show on this much area if you click here it will show the output area so that's it on this video guys on the next video i'll talk about the tools and the manual roto hope you really enjoyed this silhouette effects rotoscoping details production level master classes keep watching vfx world see you next video very soon subscribe and make sure follow us on our social media handles facebook instagram linkedin and twitter see you bye bye